comedian Charleston White. Now I say comedian loosely, all right, because D.L. Hughley said, "Don't, don't embarrass the craft by calling it comedy." So I'm saying comedian because that's what the headline says, all right. Uh, Charleston White got into um, a scuffle at a performance. I want to analyze this thoughtfully, okay? So I'm going to show you the video and then we'll get into it. Here it is. It was there by getting booed. I done already got paid. You paid to see me. You paid to see me. Lakers, Jazz, and Warren, and pull out some money, though. Pull out some money, though. Pull out some money, though. Pull out some money. Pull out some money. I hit you on your goddamn head. Pull out some money. I, I hit you on your goddamn head. Hit you on your goddamn head. All right, I got more video. Put up the picture for a mask. When this first started, when I'm looking at it, I'm thinking, okay, is this a skit? Once I realize it's not a skit, I'm asking another question. Um, where's the security, right? Uh, typically, you have a protocol for something like this. You clearly see there's a real engagement happening. It is about to turn violent. The man on stage has picked up a weapon, something to protect himself or to launch an offensive attack, right? So according to Complex, Charleston White performed in Crockett, Texas on Saturday night as part of a Christmas themed event he was booked for. During his set, White allegedly questioned the validity of the 2020 NBA Finals where the Los Angeles Lakers, two Lakers fans in the audience, did not seem to take kindly to White's commentary. White claimed that the man who was wearing a Kobe Bryant jersey, asked to come up on stage. He explained that he feared for his life at that moment, which he says caused him to hit him with um, the item you see on camera. So following the incident, uh, White would joke about pressing charges. So here's what he said afterwards. Boy, I'm pressing charges like a man, I'm pressing charges. And then I'm taking my disability papers to the prosecutor's office so we can enhance the charges. Cause you jumped on a disabled person, a legally blind man. Now your attorney can go get the pictures all they want to in videos of me driving during this year. Uh-uh, he legally blind and you jumped on a disabled man. Boy, your charges go be enhanced like a and he a community activist, and he a youth advocate. Boy, your ass gonna be in trouble like a And boy, forget what, I'm gonna take this eye out. When it's time to come testify, I'm gonna feel my way around the courtroom. Yeah, I'm gonna feel my way around the courtroom when it's up there. Let's say, yeah, say, they go hard, have the Bible out. Will you put your hand on the Bible? Yeah, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, like I see this, yeah. I, I sir, the Bible right here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, that nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yeah, 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 I do. Uh, yeah, then when I get there, they go have the microphone right there to talk. Uh, I'm gonna be talking like this, like I'm talking on the microphone. Sir, the microphone right here. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Can you can you point him out? <laughs> can you spot him out? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be able to see it in with that. Can, can you see him? Yeah, that's him right there. <laughs> I thought you couldn't see. Uh, uh, he got that's the same silhouette. Yeah, yeah, that's the same silhouette. I, I, I'll never forget that silhouette. <laughs> you know, the irony of of his video is that for me personally, that's the funniest. He's ever been to me like that was actually funny. Um, so he's he's making light of, and I said he's going to press charges. He he was able to create a narr a narration that provided some levity to the situation. But uh, you got to imagine that's a scary scene. Regardless of how it happened, you are in a scary situation at the end of that. Now, I don't condone anybody jumping on the stage. Now, if somebody throws a potted plant at you, you know, cause and effect can happen. 
So, Ricky, how do you see this? Yeah, you can't be throwing the punsettas because there's a shortage on them. And our, our <laughs> senior <laughs> citizen community was more upset about that punsetta <laughs> being thrown than anybody. So, Dr. Richie, your grandmother and my grandmother do not play. That's right. About, about those uh, punsettas. And the chair thing only worked in the state of Alabama. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, that was that was that was Texas. <laughs> That's uh, I I I just not, me personally as a comedian, I'm just not gonna antagonize uh, anybody like that. Even if I get somebody drunk, Dr. Richie, I get them out by saying, hey, let you come on over here. Let me get you back here to the dressing room so I can take some pictures with you. Make them feel like they're getting something special. But really, yeah. what I'm doing is getting them out the audience so I could finish my performance. And I go back to the dressing room and take a picture or two with him and everybody's happy at the end of the night. Mm -hmm. uh, I fear for his, for his safety, uh, having that many enemies and going all over the country and you into it with rappers and stuff. I mean, I understand some of the things that he's trying to uh, communicate and uh, uh, say about, the, the, you know, some of the negative things that's going on in the community. But uh, I don't know if I would take that approach because I think I love my family enough not to have my family show up at my funeral because that right there would get you to an early grave because uh, the world is a bad place and he and that's that's dangerous. Yeah, I, like I said, at the end of that, that's a scary situation to be in. Uh, and once you throw a pot at plant special point set of man, you know. Yeah, and I didn't know as I was like I like man, wow. That's yeah. a lot.